Okay, so for this video, uh, I'm gonna attempt to do something that I saw a guy on the Arma forum, the Crate and 8S forum, do. His name is Mark Cole. Shot him some messages, he sent me some good pictures of exactly, you know, how he did it and everything like that, kind of. So, um, yeah. Um, I was waiting on my son's X-Max bumper to come in so I could take his factory one and try this out. Biggest thing, uh, I started looking at my bumper on my Crate and 8S. It has done some nose dives from pretty good distances. Um, so I was looking at it and right here and here has got some slight cracks in it. it hasn't broke, still solid. So, I mean, they make some good parts, but I went ahead and ordered some new parts, a new bumper for it, uh, for this. That way, when I throw it on, everything's good and solid, and you go from there. Um, so, yeah. So, now I'm, gonna look at, I'm looking at his picture right here. You can see it. Uh, you should be able to see it pretty well. Seeing how much he cut off. I'm going to use my Dremel, just because... I feel like it'd make it a little bit easier, a little bit quicker, maybe even a little bit cleaner. We'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this cut up right quick. Start fitting it on, see how it goes. Made time lapse this next little portion, that way you don't have to listen to all the noise and everything as I'm doing this. But yeah, so let's see how it goes. Alright, so you get that all cut out. Um, it's definitely going to be enough for what I'm trying to do. Uh, I don't know, not sure, it didn't really come out as clean as his. And for some of you wondering, I did not have safety glasses on while I was doing that. So... A good portion of that I was doing my eyes closed because <laughs> I started getting hit in the face with uh, hot pieces of plastic. Uh, usually I would wear my safety, you know, my safety at my eye pro, but I kind of just got excited about doing this and yeah, but I'm good. Eyes work, still gravy. So anyhow, um... I'm gonna find some screws that will fit in to here because you just screw it in from the back right here and so let me find those screws and I'll get back to you okay all right so we're back uh, found some screws uh, the last video that I recorded earlier swapped out uh, put the t-bone maxis bumper on my son's x-max so two of the screws that I had pulled out of his X-Max are perfect to go inside of this bumper. 
see, right there. Perfect. Good beefy screws, long screws. Uh, should work really well. Just got to make sure that they're going to, and they do. Oh, man. I did not check that before we got back to the video. So, just want to make sure they're going to fit into there, which, as you see, they do. Right there. So, let's get these screwed on. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you know what, man? Y'all keep catching me today. Keep putting everything backwards. So, it's going to go in on the front right here. Um, so, it doesn't line up quite perfect, but I'm thinking once I get it started in, on both sides it may force the bumper to pop in because yes there is a if you look in here there is like a little indention going into there but the x max piece right here has that same little indention so i'm hoping oh yeah so it should yep so it should work out pretty well it's not going to stay there by itself hopefully that extra little bit of pressure doesn't do anything. We'll see. So I'm going to pop this in. Try to, oh. Try to hold it. While I get the screw started. There it goes. All right. So screws are in. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Looks like the youngest got scared by something. Probably the oldest. Probably Jace. He's a jokester. Gotta watch out for him. He's shady. Shady little character. <laughs> you know it's true, Andy. <laughs> that boy's shady. <laughs> He's a normal kid, but he is shady. All right, so get these tightened in. Get those tightened up in there. Fit really well. No complaints here. I mean, that is really tight. I mean, that is it's solid. <laughs> so, there, there you go. I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. New bottom crate and eight ass bumper. <coughs> uh, slightly used X Max bumper fit together definitely not as clean as the video or the picture that you saw earlier if it showed up when I looked at it but in my opinion looks pretty good what do you think Andy I think it looks good I think it looks Once pretty you put it on there yeah it's gonna look even better who, yeah who cares about looks if it looks if, if it, it protects yeah I mean feel it I mean, that is that is solid if it does the job who cares about looks dude? all right so let me get this uh, Dremel stuff cleaned up, and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Go. All right, guys. Welcome back. Uh, so, first part, you saw me cut this up, um, attach it with the original screws from the X Max from his my son's bumper change, and this thing feels solid, man. These screws are long, so they, I know they're going in there pretty far. Um, it feels really solid. I think. Yeah, I mean, take a, a massive hit is definitely going to break, but I mean, this plastic on these bumpers the Armor use is super strong. I mean, I think that's why they sell the vehicles with just that little bitty bumper right there. All right, so in order to get this guy off, because like I said, right here, there's small cracks. doesn't go all the way to the sides, but there is small cracks from a couple of the nose dies I've done. So I'm just going to put a whole new piece on. Uh, 
So yeah, so in order to get this guy off, you need two and a half millimeter. Again, uh, Protect, use my Protect tools. These guys are awesome. So we're gonna get this out of here. Uh, just so you know, these things are not magnetic at all. Um, I let them sit on one of my magnetic trays that I have for a few hours. And that was about a little over a week ago. And they still got a little bit of magnetism to them. This hole's got a lot of dirt in it. Alright, there we go. So in case you didn't know that, you take a non-magnetic tool, stick it on a magnetic tray, and voila, you magnetized it. Uh, definitely won't last forever, but it lasts for a good enough time. Not that big of a deal, but it's just a helpful thing. So, got the front two screws out. Flip this big dude over. Take the bottom two out. Bottom two, same. Or the first two in the bottom. Same screws, I wanna mix them up. Get this guy out. Oh, sorry. Arms in the way, but you can see what I'm doing. Just taking screws out. Uh, now for these first two, these two here. Just figured out those are four millimeter as well. So in my earlier videos, I was talking about like motor mounts on this guy. So all these screws are two and a half for the most part. But these two, these two, and this one, and this one are all four millimeter. So keep that in mind when you're working on this. Oh, and this one here, this one, this one, and this one. They're all four millimeter. Keep that in mind. If you get one of these trucks, you will need a four millimeter for certain things. Okay, so now I'm gonna take these out. Luckily, like I said, this toolkit is really, really good for beginners. Uh, after so many, after so much use, they, the, the ends do start to strip out. They're not that strong, but luckily I've never used this tip <laughs> besides a couple times. Um, so get this guy out. Caught it. See if this thing's gonna slide off easy or not. Hopefully it does. Yeah, not too bad. It's on there tight, which is a good thing. I mean, you definitely want something like this that's holding your hinge pins, these gigantic hinge pins, and protecting the front of your vehicle. You want it to be on there good. So, clean this up a little bit. Maybe make the install the new one go on a little bit better. We'll definitely keep this for a spare. Like I said, it didn't crack all the way through. Just started to crack a little bit right here on both sides. Like we did some I've this thing has done some pretty crazy nose dives. Like I said, I've never broke any other arms or nothing like that. So not sure what some of these guys are doing. Obviously, we know what some people are doing, launching them. 60 feet. I haven't got an opportunity to do that and don't think I would if I could. Um, so yeah. Get this new bumper back on. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, not as easy as it looks. I think you just line it up and slide it right on, but definitely not. Stand up. There we go. 
super tight but as I said before a little tight is not always a bad thing so what I'll do is I'll throw the big ones in first maybe it'll kind of force the bumper to line up where it should we will see and it looks like it is okay Get this other screw in. That screw looks like it went in a whole lot further. Where's that old bumper at? So I guess you don't need to really take off these two front big screws. <laughs> So yeah, you don't need to take off those big screws. Uh, let's do this. Let's see if I can't get these going. Maybe this will... Yep. That's the... That's the trick right there. So like I said, when I first bought this thing... I didn't take it apart, um, like a lot of people do, check everything. So to get this guy off the front bumper, stock one, you don't need to take the big ones out. Um, just these two and these two. So we'll get these guys, these screws back in real quick. I'm gonna show you this too. So. Do you look inside? All right, so right inside that screw there, there is dirt filling the hole halfway up. Uh, with my old tools, I would just round this whole thing out. It wouldn't work. With these, again, like I said, I can't say enough about them. With these, doesn't matter if the hole is filled up with dirt or not. If you can get a bite, it's gonna bite and it's going to tighten or loosen the screws. No problem. All right, those in and tight. Tighten this one back down all the way. There we go. All right, so that's everything. Finish that up. Let's take her. Flip it back over. Grab the body. And throw it on. Now, and there you go. Right there. X Max bumper added. To the Creighton 8S bumper. Super solid. Body still fits. 
Uh, you guess the front in there first, then once it goes down into the clips, once it goes down into the clips, set the bottom down and it's perfect. But yeah, so hopefully this gives me a little bit more protection on those nose dives. Uh, we'll see, right? I mean, it is super solid, but uh, until someone makes something better, then I hope this right here is going to do me well and protect the front end of my truck a little bit more. Um, so again, thanks for uh, hanging out, staying tuned. Uh, if you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, hit the bell button. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to do a lot more of these videos where I'm just working on the trucks as well as running. Um, but yeah, so thanks for hanging out and I will see you next time.